Hi, I'm a Bullis student tutor, and in this video I'm going to be talking about modular arithmetic, giving a quick introduction to the topic. So modular arithmetic is a type of math that is studied under the field of number theory. And we know that in normal, everyday arithmetic, we have an infinite set of numbers with, with which we can do our math. All the positive numbers, all the negative numbers, etc. Well, modular arithmetic is just math where you can only use a set amount of those numbers to represent all the other numbers. For instance, I might use only the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 to represent all other numbers. So let's give a quick example. On a typical clock, we represent 24 hours of the day with only 12 numbers. In this case, 12 is our modulo, the cap of the numbers that we can use to represent all the other numbers. So in a clock, when we try and represent the 23rd hour of the day, we say it's 11 o'clock at night. We're counting the hours, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then we have to start over again at 1 and go back up to 11 in order to reach that 23rd hour because we're counting modulo 12. So here's another example. If we were to represent the number 7, in a number system modulo 4, we would say that that equals 3. Because when we're trying to count up to 7, we're saying 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we have to start over again at 1, 2, 3. This is a total of 7 digits, but we're only using the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 to get there. Another example could be the number 13 modulo, and we'll abbreviate it as mod, 11. So now we have the numbers 1 through 11 to use, but we need to represent the number 13. So that's going to equal 2, because we count 1 through 11, and then need to start over for 1 and 2 in order to reach a total of 13 digits. And this process of taking a number and representing it modulo another number is called reducing. So we're here reducing 7 modulo 4 to get 3. Now let's go back to our clock analogy for another aspect of modular arithmetic. You'll notice that on a clock where you're, met, where you're representing 24 hours modulo 12, using only 12 digits to represent those hours, both the second and the 14th hours of the day are represented by the number 2, 2 o'clock, 2 a.m. and 2 p.m. These two numbers, 2 and 14, are congruent modulo 12 because the distance between them is divisible by 12. Or in other words, they're represented by the same digit in this set of numbers. They're both represented by 2. If there were more than 24 hours in a day, we would find more digits that are congruent to 2 modulo 12. All of these numbers are congruent to each other, modulo 12, because the difference between them is divisible by 12. So 2 and 38 are congruent modulo 12, and that's how that's written. This is the sign for congruence, because the difference between them is divisible by 12. The difference between them is 36, and 12 goes into that with no remainder. So another example could be 13 and 24. 13 is congruent to 24 modulo 11 because the difference between them is divisible by 11. 
in a modulo 11 number system where you're only using those 11 digits to represent all numbers, 24 and 13 are represented by the same number. And we'll look at one more concept about, number, uh, about modular arithmetic before we go. We've already said that all of these numbers are congruent modulo 12. And the number that we started with was 2. All of these numbers are part of the congruence class of 2 modulo 12. They're all congruent to each other modulo 12. And there are many more positive numbers and negative numbers that are congruent to 2 modulo 12 as well. This has been a Bullis student tutor video. If you liked the video and found it helpful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and check out all our other great tutoring videos on our YouTube page, Bullis Student Tutors. Thank you.